Well, another condition that seems to be on everyone's mind today is cholesterol and heart disease. Most researchers concur that heart disease is responsible for nearly one third of all deaths worldwide. What hope does mangosteen offer in the area of heart health? Dr. Templeman, I'm sure you have an answer. Well, you know, I've seen in, in conditions like uh, heart failure, I have seen improvements in patients ability to sort of do things that they have been unable to do thus far uh, because of their disease and I believe that that is because the mangosteen is actually working against inflammation in the failing heart muscle itself and allowing them to have productive exertional duration that they didn't have before without medication. But when you look theoretically at the potential effects of mangosteen, you have the therapeutic effects, and they're kind of sexy. Everybody is interested in seeing a, a regression of some disease, such as heart disease. But the real important part is over here in prevention. By far the most area, the most important area is prevention. And when we talk about prevention of atherosclerosis, now for our listeners, I'll just let them uh, review with me that atherosclerosis is the buildup of plaque in the artery wall that eventually can cause strokes and heart attacks. And atherosclerosis begins with damage to the LDL molecule. Now, Dr. Morton referred to a study out of the University of Western Australia in combination with a Thai university where they actually studied low-density lipoprotein, this bad cholesterol that gets placed in plaques. And they were able to prove that by adding mangosteen to the mixture, you could protect that LDL protein so that it was not damaged. And without ever being damaged, it can never even get to step one on being incorporated into a plaque. So prevention? Absolutely. It makes sense to believe that if you have that kind of effect upon protecting low-density lipoprotein, that you're going to have an absolute effect in slowing down or in reducing the risk with atherosclerosis. That's certainly a powerful property.